Hello, I'm Matthias Bierenstiel, and I'm professor of chemistry in the Department of Chemistry at Cape Breton University. And I would like to talk today about my experiences with uh, science communication. I've been working on a uh, large uh, health research grant uh, with my partner, uh, Duma Yang, on uh, the study and investigation of a traditional Mi'kmaq medicine um, made from birch bark. And um, I want to provide you with some insights to that. Um, the, uh, the, the project is based on a two-eyed seeing approach, uh, which balances Western uh, science with indigenous knowledges. And um, I'm conducting uh, the chemistry and science uh, aspect of that. But with this program, uh, which we're now con conducting for the past eight years, uh, there's a big component with uh, community outreach and um, uh, talking to the community, listening to elders, and, uh, and also reporting to elders. And this is the aspect that I would like to provide some of my insights there with regards to science communication. Typically, um, um, my type of uh, 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 dissemination, particularly like uh, uh, lectures and, and talks, are at conferences to a uh, special and expert audience. And so uh, uh, talking to a uh, general population is, is sometimes uh, tricky and new, uh, but also quite exciting. And I think this is um, uh, what I have learned and I'm still learning as well, uh, how we go along. Um, at first people will you know, say that, oh, well, you have to dumb down uh, your, 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 your knowledge or whatever, which is not the case at all. Uh, clearly you have to kind of go away and uh, over your jargon and you have to explain it in a simple manner. I actually used to quite re uh, reflectively because uh, things that I thought I understood and I thought that I could actually explain quite well, if it wasn't received that well by the audience, uh, it made me realize that I wasn't communicating as, as efficiently and as effectively as I should. And so uh, that is a very, very good component uh, and it forces me uh, to be very simple and to the point on what the research is about. And that is, that is a two-way street. Uh, it kind of goes on what the audience is asking and, and saying, and I'm learning from the audience, but also me providing information to the audience. The other aspect is uh, the a general uh, uh, back and forth that, um, uh, one is so focused on the research project and very, very narrowly and kind of look at things so that someone uh, forgets the bigger picture. And when you're communicating with um, uh, a gen the general public, uh, you have to always keep the big picture in mind. Always kind of, why are we doing this? What is, what is the, the big overall aspect to this? And, and keep that in mind um, when presenting the topic um, some people are not familiar with your, with your research. And so you have to always start with, with the big picture. But that is actually really good because it grounds oneself in, in to the overall um, project to really see why are we doing this and uh, why is it so relevant. And then as well, this is the back and forth with the audience uh, is then going off and on tangents as well by uh, explaining certain aspects of uh, experiments that what we have done in simplified terms um, and, and definitely not dumbing down. Uh, it's just making it very clear in a very precise manner of what are we doing and what are, what's the essence of that. And that, that really helps again to, to see kind of the, the technical steps that we have to do one by one uh, in going back and forth. So um, my, my little three minute spiel here uh, for uh, science communication, in this case to a general audience is really um, be, be as open as possible, uh, focus on the important aspects, uh, the big picture, um, don't get lost in the details. Uh, you still need to know the details in order to explain certain things. And then use this reflect reflectively and really say like, um, we can actually explore uh, these aspects and, 
and explain them better next time uh, when there's another round of explaining things to other people who haven't heard uh, the project uh, to make science communication um, better. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned something from this. Um, um, I'm always learning about that. Thank you very much.